everyone, it's the holidays, and I'm a Savage Worlds RPG fan. So I combine those two and say, here's a gift-giving guide for 2023 for your friends, family, or yourself on games, products um, for Savage Worlds that you should take a look at. Everyone, it's Carl with Tabletop Tango. Look at the bubbles, do the stuff. We'd love your support. We'd love subscribes. We'd love your comments. And in this video, you should comment on what you think are great gift guides or gift items for Savage Worlds players or people new to the game. So put it in the comments. But that's what I'm talking about today. So I'm going to talk about some gifts, some ideas for the Savage Worlds um, player that you have on your Christmas list or for yourself that you might have missed or you haven't thought about. Doesn't matter. This is the gift you should give somebody, um, whether it's PDF, whether you find a hard copy, doesn't matter. So let's start off by sort of the elephant in the room. Obviously, there's just a ton of material that came out long before 2023. There's Savage Rifts. There's the classic Deadlands, um, Weird West. There's um, Superpowers Companion. There's so much good stuff that already came out um, that you should take a look at and probably should be on your Christmas list. I'm going to focus a little bit more on things in 2023 or late 2022, maybe. I don't know. I didn't check the dates. But anyway, so let's talk about that. First item is the fifth printing of the core book. Uh, so that it's gone through a lot of printings. The fifth printing adds a lot of good stuff in it. It adds some additional rules, it adds some clarifications. It updates the powers to take into account some of the changes that were made in the Savage Pathfinder and um, the Fantasy Companion and sort of improves upon that, cleans it up. It's a great printing. It's got a lot of really good material in it. So you, if you have a previous printing of the book, you might want to consider this. They haven't done the actual printing, physical printing, but you can get the PDFs. Um, and if you already have the PDFs uh, from Drive Through RPG, you should already have it in your uh, re ready for you to download. So you should absolutely download as uh, one of the first things you do. Great gift idea, the core book, of course, but the fifth printing makes it that much better. Second thing, Fantasy Companion. This is a must-have for everybody. You should just get it. There is so much material in it. There's new edges, new hindrances. There's uh, new arcane backgrounds, things like alchemist, druid, bard. There's a lot of really good stuff. There's things on creating magic items. There's a whole list of magic items that you can take advantage of. So if you're running a fantasy game, even if you already have Savage Pathfinder and you're using that, it's a great resource that you should take advantage of. And what's cool is there's things like mystic power edge in there that even is valid and useful for things like a science fiction campaign, which I did. So even if you're into different genres, Fantasy Companion is a great thing to get. Um, you may not have it, your friends may not have it, so it's a great gift, gift idea for them. I actually did a video with Eric on the differences between Savage Worlds Pathfinder and Savage Worlds uh, Fantasy Companion, so you might want to check that out and learn what the differences are in case you have one already. Um, and then speaking of Pathfinder, um, the Advanced Player's Guide is out as well. And if you are a Savage Pathfinder person, you need to get the Advanced Player Guide. It has so much more material. It adds a bunch of new class edges, things like Cavalier, Oracle, Summoner. When we did some videos that deep dived into some of these class edges already, um, there's new power modif modifiers, new powers, um, lots of options for spellcasters. Um, and just a bunch of new material. So that should be on your list if you're a Savage Pathfinder fan um, or you know someone who is. Definitely something that you should think about getting. Absolutely. Um, another one that they just kick-started and they're pr putting out the PDFs is Necessary Evil. The new Necessary Evil reprint is out, but what it adds um, from the previous one is now a cosmic level um, uh, plot point campaign um, called Cosmic Crisis. And this is for power level five superheroes, which are 75 points build. So that's pretty whopping if you don't know. Um, so this is a campaign that takes part on kind of a galactic scale in a sense. And so it's really pretty cool. And what adds, what, the, what this source book adds is a whole bunch of ancestries 
that you can base the campaign around. I mean, just a bunch of different alien cre uh, ancestries that you can use to create your superpower characters. But it's also really, I, I was just paging through it, and it was like, yeah, I could see using a lot of these for just any old science fiction campaign or some other campaign where you want a bunch of different ancestries. Um, so obviously, great for those who are into superpower game, especially if you were a fan of the original Necessary Evil, absolutely something to consider getting. Next item on the list, kind of turning it, changing the direction a little bit, we're going to talk about Pine Box Middle School. This is uh, a book that came out at the same time they kickstarted the Horror Companion, and this is a classic kids on bike, um, younger kids solving mysteries, uh, you know, cosmic strangeness, stuff like that. You know, your classic uh, Stranger Things kind of uh, TV show kind of vibe. Um, lots of really good material in here. It's got new hindrances, new edges. Um, it really defines kind of what it's like to be a kid in trying to solve these mysteries. Like um, it limits, you know, deadly items from the equipment. You know, it's more what would a kid have access to to kind of ratchet up that tension um, as you're going against creatures of the night and that sort of thing. Um, and it comes basically with a full plot point campaign and a bunch of savage tales. So it's a great book if you want to experience sort of that genre of, of game. Um, I might throw in that Eric and I, a long time ago, we did a review of a game called, of a third party setting for Savage Worlds called Monster Hunters Club, which does the same thing, does it in a really good way too. Um, it's a third party setting. It it really dives into that cool 80s, what's it like to be a kid in the 80s like Stranger Things had. So it's a little bit different feel, but also something to check out, even though it's an older setting and it's not from 2023. Just, just thought I'd throw that in there as well. Um, so those are some of the kind of the big ones that, you, that just kind of came out. 2023, awesome stuff that you might want to consider. Let's throw in a couple of third-party ones uh, as well, like we talked about Monster Hut. Hunters Club. So if you're looking for gonzo, crazy, future militaristic, mercenary with customizable kind of weapons against certain armors, do certain damage, really cool stuff, you want to take a look at Battle Lords of the 23rd Century setting for Savage Worlds. If you want to be a secret agent around the time of World War II with that flavor, even with there's like you know shadowy organizations and things happening behind the scenes that are supernatural, you might want to check out Secret Files of Section D, another great Savage Worlds third-party setting. And then finally, something that I kind of fell into this year, um, I'm, for, I'm a child of the 80s, so this, this had a super 80s retro future kind of feel to it. You were agents, uh, you played special agents kind of in the 80s. It had that Miami Vice feel to it. It's really kind of cool. And that one's called Street Wolves. So there's a couple of settings that are third parties that you might also want to consider on your Christmas list, especially since your Savage Worlds friends and families may not have heard of some of those. It may not have run across them. So again, let's talk your Christmas list. Get the fifth printing. Fantasy Companion, a must-have. Get that Savage Pathfinder Advanced Player's Guide, Necessary Evil, now it's got a Cosmic Campaign, and Pine Box Middle School. Cool, kids on bike kind of thing. So anyway, that's my list of some of the things from 2023 that you might want to consider on your holiday list for your friends and family and yourself who are fans of the Savage Worlds RPG. Once again, I'm Carl with Tabletop Tango. Look at the bubbles, do the stuff, and we appreciate all your support, help. And you can check out our podcast, Mastering the RPG, which is a general podcast, um, also available out there. Thanks again. Talk to you later.